right, so it uh, obviously snowed again overnight. I saw on Facebook that the squirrel job worked out. The report is that there are no more squirrels in the house, and you know, it's kind of bittersweet. The folks in the house are happy because, you know, they don't have the squirrels. But just think about all the squirrels, you know, they've been living in that house now for months. All fat and happy and warm and whatnot, and then on a snowy, cold night, like when it's really nasty out, they finally get evicted. Anyway, let's just hope the squirrels found someplace else to stay. I'm just out doing some jobs today, indoor jobs primarily, and uh, trying to fight the cold. Okay, we got act one, scene one of this mini bathroom remodel. It's kind of like a micro remodel. I'm not redoing the whole thing, but um, changing it up. So let's take a look at the bathroom. We've got the toilet, which is coming out. Uh, carpet's coming out. She wants a vinyl floor in here. Uh, walls are pretty much staying the same. Might do a new one of these guys. I like the cat picture, that's awesome. Um, tub is a surround dealio. That's gonna stay the same. Uh, we're not ripping the tub, and I think I'm just gonna leave the surround. And then the vanity is just getting like a touch up. I'm gonna do a new top on here, a new sink and fixtures and whatnot. But uh, keep this dude, uh, maybe paint it or you know, I might just be tempted to put some new doors on there. You know, kind of like reface it. And uh, pull this guy and either do a messing cabinet or just a different trim dealio on this mirror just because it's a little bit shot. And you know, little things like this need to be touched up. But otherwise, just kind of like a mini bathroom reboot of this uh, small bathroom. All right, so the water lines are not marked and uh, I'm just running the water and I'm just gonna feel which one is hot. And it's just guy in the right. I'm just gonna mark that. That way when I cut it, I can put it back together right. All right, now typically you could shut the water off just underneath the sink and at the toilet, but in this case, I'm down in the crawl space, shutting it off. You know, when you're pulling a toilet, you always end up with the water that's left in the bowl. And um, I only recently discovered this stuff, but it's pretty sweet. Some kind of crazy chemical uh, developed in Chernobyl or whatever, but basically you just put it in the bowl and it turns that water to goo. And that way when you pull the toilet, it doesn't leak all over your house. It takes like uh, five minutes to solidify. So it's been like five minutes, 10 minutes, and you can see, man, this stuff turned to like toilet bowl goo, nastified. Anyway, at least it won't leak out. All 
All right, so I think that's as deep as I'm going in the demo. Uh, this is gonna get a new surround. This guy is going to get a new top. Hopefully I can find one the same size. I'll just patch this stuff back together. It'll be solid. Uh, all the plumbing is going to stay the same, but I'll put some shutoffs on there. Got the AAV and the drain. Uh, toilet's going back in here. I may replace that subfloor. We'll have to see. I haven't really checked to see how solid it is or not. Uh, we'll do the new floor and I don't know what you guys think about this. It's kind of classic. Uh, the previous vanity was 30 inches. This guy is 31. If you have an extra inch of hangover on this side, I'll either cut it down on that side, you know, just snip it off uh, an inch, or just leave it. We'll have to see. Um, but obviously I do need to move this receptacle. So I'll pull that guy out. Hopefully we got enough wire to just move it up here. Hey, Thanks for calling. I was just checking out the uh, faucet I installed. How's it working? I don't see any drips. It looks pretty good. We got water flowing.
All right, that is fixed up. Uh, it just needs paint, a little putty in the holes, and more paint over here, and it should be good. All right, here is the final walkthrough of this little bathroom reboot. I uh, got a new floor, which is waterproof, not like carpet. Uh, trimmed it out, new toilet, that's all the same. It did get a hotel style curved rod, she wanted one of those. And I got rid of the old vintage thing. There's now a brushed steel rod over here. And over here, I just uh, trimmed out the mirror with a clean white trim. Still needs a little bit of paint up on top. And uh, put a new top on the vanity with a new faucet. And managed to maintain most of the plumbing. The only real plumbing update is just that I put shutoffs on the hot and cold here and on the toilet over there. Bathroom on a budget. Very simple little reboot of this bathroom. Not the full thing, not totally redone, but just tuned up. All right, so it is four o'clock and I wrapped up that bathroom job just a lot faster than I thought I would. I had actually originally bid that job, uh, you know, just kind of tuning up that bathroom, not a full remodel. I had bid it as a week long job. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bill that gal hourly instead of going with the bid. That'll save her some money and uh, it's all good in the end. But I do have a little bit of daylight here and I gotta show you what I gotta do. Just, I got a little job here and I think it's pretty funky. Uh, inside the barn and we've got a loft and we just use it as a hay loft but there's no way up there but our cats check it out our barn cats that's sylvie they figured out a way to get up there and they kind of cruise down this ledge right here and tweety the other cat she's up there too but i just want to make it a little bit easier on them i figure at some point if they're running up there they're gonna end up you know twisting an ankle or something so i'm just gonna build like some kind of cat ramp up into the hayloft so they can get up and down just a little bit easier. All right, so the cats are up there, and now at least they've got like a walkway here, a little causeway, kitty causeway. They can step down on this old, I think it's an owl nesting box or something. Step down on here and make their way back in the barn. <laughs> 